May 7th is a date Sean Herod will never forget, the same date those close to him will always remember. It is a different May 7th. It is not going to be the day he got in a car accident. It is going to be the day he graduated from School of Mines with his civil engineering. Three years to the date, a driver under the influence crashed into Herod's car on a North Rapid City street. Herod suffered a traumatic brain injury, an injury he's battled ever since, with his fiance Agnes Steele and an unexpected supporter by his side. That supporter, McDonald Baker, is the very driver who caused his injury. Thanks to the help of mediators at Restorative Justice, Herod was able to make peace with him. They had a conversation in a safe place where they could talk about what happened, how they were affected, and what would make this better. And that, from that conversation, all things became possible. Referring to the close bond the two developed, after the mediation, Baker began to accompany his new friend to rehab sessions. And today, Baker was there yet again for one of Herod's most triumphant moments on the road to recovery. The audience stood up and clapped as Herod got out of his wheelchair and took big steps across the stage to accept his diploma. His fiance Agnes, always behind. That's all I went through. Walking and giving his diploma is and being behind him walking across that stage, you know, it just made me feel like I lived up to what I told him I would do. And so did Baker, who vowed to help Herod during times of need. Done good. Done really good. A diploma and a big step toward recovery, two accomplishments they've waited for for three years. Now this May 7th is the day Baker and Herod, the future civil engineer, call a day of rebirth. The accident that brought them together is going to keep them together. Restorative justice mediators tell me that they expect Herod to make a full recovery.